Now, at some point, they will arrest people like me. And that's going to be the process of restoring liberty. But let me say this. When I stand before a judge for upholding justice and law and liberty, that judge will find out what true contempt really is. I am done being silent, and I don't care what patch or badge or seat you sit in. Since when do we allow the lawless to rule over us? These legislators, these judges that sit in their padded chairs thinking they are thrones and no one dares to challenge them. Well, I will challenge them, and this bold group of liberty patriots will challenge them because we are done sitting silent. Our rights are not open to negotiation. You want to know what this is? This is a Washington State concealed weapons permit. You want to know what this is? This is a United States concealed weapons permit. But I don't even need this. Because my absolute rights are not given by this. The Constitution gives us nothing. It is only a piece of paper whereby we, the people, commanded government to obey us. And see, that declaration over there, I take that pretty seriously. Now this here is my concealed carry that people make fun of a lot. But it's well hidden. And this here is my concealed carry permit. To the state of Washington, to the legislators, to the sheriffs, to the police officers, you have sworn an oath to uphold my rights. And no permit for my rights is permitted. We did not get a permit to stand here on this day because we do not need a permit to exercise our rights. And it was kind of amusing. Admittedly, the state has tried to work with us and we've worked it out and we want to get along, we want to be peaceful. But it was, it was rather amusing because when we first started doing this rally, they said, well, you have to have a permit. And we laughed. <laughs> because we don't need a permit. And we said, no, here's how it's going to go. We are going to be here, we are going to stand here, and we are going to defy this law. That's how you deal with government. You tell them how the law will work. It doesn't mean you're not ever working with them. We actually did. And I think they may have actually issued us a permit, even though we didn't ask for one. That's fine. But the law stands. You do not need a permit to exercise your rights. If you, my friends, want a tank in your front yard, then buy one, and I, for one, may want to live next door because your house will be the safest on the block. I was on a radio interview a little while ago as we were planning this rally, and he was a, he was a nice young man. I believe it was the Jason Ranch show, and it, it was a fun interview, but he said, he said, he suggested that I was too radical, and he said, if you stood up before all those people and said people should be able to own bazookas, they would not stand with you. And I said, well, challenge accepted, or something along those lines. So I say, if you want to own a bazooka, you can own a bazooka. Yeah. Although your AR-15 might actually be a more effective weapon. But let's come back to this permit. See, I went to my sheriff's office, and I asked my sheriff if I could carry a gun concealed by filling out this permit, and that's what every single one of us is doing. So here's what I'm gonna do with this permit. I'm going to burn it. And I invite anyone who wants to burn their concealed weapons permit. I won't hold it against you if you're not ready, but it's time we stop standing down to lawlessness. And as this concealed weapons permit burns away in the flames, I declare in absolute defiance to all lawless tyrants. You do not touch this liberty. Thank you. We don't need permits for our guns. We don't need permits for our speech. And they say to me in the interviews, and they say to me, well, Gavin, 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 what about, what about if people just put guns in rain barrels, and anybody can take them? And I'm like, well, if there's a rain barrel full of guns, let me know, because I'm going to be down there. <laughs> so let's start destroying permits that are not permits.
because those things we just burned are not permits because the government has no authority to give me permission for my rights. Yeah. Folks, we all stood here today and this is just the beginning, but it's time we started standing. I talk to people so often, and this is changing. People are recognizing this, and they say, well, well, bravo. I talk to people and they say, oh, I support gun rights. I, I support the Second Amendment, but but I think I think background checks are okay, and I think permits are okay, and, and I think I think the, the people that are mentally unstable, we should take their guns. And I say, oh, well, who gets to decide who's mentally unstable? <laughs> 